one of the questions I've been asked about is how do you kind of blend from a dry edge to what the white of the paper so kind of get a graduated wash if you know what I mean so you go from light all the way to dark and vice versa so what I would do with that to get a blend from dry paper I kind of wet away from the area first see what I'm doing there so you kind of wet and they can just see how wet that is if I just tilt the board you see that look got that so that's how wet that is now that's going to soak into the paper quite quick so I'll re-wet it again now you don't want it running like a waterfall, so that's too wet now. So allow it to kind of soak into the paper. So you dry brush out a bit of tissue, which is what I keep doing. And then, whilst it's still nice and damp, now the paper's lovely and damp under there now. It's kind of soaked into the paper itself. I'm going to come closer to the paint, to the edge. Now, when I get to the edge, I'm going to start doing little tickle motions. It's a little circle, tickle, tickle, tickle. Right, that's all I'm doing. Keep tickling it. Don't stop tickling. We'll start laughing in a minute. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Keep going. And there we go. And that's blending and softening that edge all the way into this wet area. Alright, so that's that. And then, what I would then do, just lightly put a line of water, just a light wash, just over that area there. Now this blue is quite a staining colour. This is the um, Intense Blue, which is a good one to practice on, actually, because it means you've got to really work at it to kind of get the colour to move underneath within the paper but that's fine so that's what you like to have a little challenge some colours don't stain as much as that um, so you find they're easier to blend as well so like the, the yellow which is actually cadmium orange that will be easier to blend than this blue but yet you'll find the lizard crimson which is this colour here is harder to blend so they all tend to vary so I just have a tiny line there but if I keep working on that that line will go just working into the, the texture of the paper and there we go so that's acted like a little bloom on there so again soften it down all the way back and then if you want to you can add another line of water further away again you've got to remember that when you pull this paint away don't pull it all the way to the edge of that line of water pull it only halfway along it will still fade and soak into the rest of it that will then give you that very faded, kind of graduated wash colour, all the way from dark, all the way to, to the light of the paper. So there you go, that will give you some ideas how to blend from a hard edge, and especially with a staining paint like this one as well, to the white of the paper. Hope you enjoyed that one, and thank you again for following me, and just one last thing, a big thank you to everybody on Patreon that's come from here and gone to my Patreon website. Um, as you guys know, I'm giving all the different kind of tutorials on here which are not on YouTube um, and a lot of step-by-step -step lessons on how to paint wildlife in general such as uh, the otter, the barn owl, the wren a variety of things to put on there so far so again, thank you very much indeed without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this now so until next time, keep painting and keep those brushes wet and we'll talk to you again soon bye bye for now